Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at FPGA miners for a bunch of these profitable coins that we've seen on the market. So recently we've had Bitstreams come out for, I believe, Ironfish, Radiant, and I think Nexa is coming on the way soon, I believe. But these profitable coins, like Casper had their big explosion in FPGAs, are all getting FPGA compatible Bitstreams. Recently, as I said, we have one for Radiant, and on their website they do talk about how uh, this SHA-512 is designed to embrace GPU, FPGAs, and ASICs. So we can probably expect ASICs on the network for Radiant Coin. That'll probably be coming in the future, you know, when it gets more adoption and more hash rate. I believe when the market cap goes up, that's normally when people decide to start producing chips for Radiant Coin or other coins. However, the FPGAs have just come on the network for Ironfish as well, I believe. And that's become super profitable for people with FPGA miners on Ironfish. So today we're going to be looking at some profitabilities of FPGA miners. And I just want to talk about overall how we've seen more FPGA miners, I think, on just the content side. More people are getting hold of them. More people are mining with them because there's more options. Normally it would just be Ethereum before the Ethereum merge. And then after that we had coins like Ravencoin and Flux, which weren't FPGA compatible. So therefore, we didn't really see much FPGA movement. It would have been on the Ethereum Classic side if we did see it. However, now we're getting these coins that are more profitable, like Radiant and like Ironfish as we see here. And then we are subsequently getting FPGA updates for them. And then probably eventually we're going to see ASICs on the Radiant blockchain. And I don't know about ASICs on Ironfish. That might be a different problem to encounter. Um, but hopefully we see FPGAs for Nexa coin as well because I believe that they allow for FPGAs on the Nexa network. So the main miner that people have been using to mine Ironfish and Radiant is the Multiminer M2. Now people bought this for Casper coin. If we click on specifications, uh, I'm going to leave links to all of these websites that I use in the description below if you want to navigate around and try buy one of these. So you can see here the M2 does Casper, Ironfish, Radiant, and then lastly it does Digibyte at the bottom. So you're going to need this power supply, I believe it comes with it. And then there's a bunch of environmental requirements. So operational temperature, storage temperature, just stuff that you need for that. However, obviously Casper, when the ASICs hit the network, these multi miners aren't going to be profitable at all. At 7.5 giga hash, that's still a lot, but the efficiency isn't there to compete with any ASICs that we're seeing, even from Ice River or from Bitmain. So subsequently, they have Bitstreams for Ironfish now and for Radiant. So if we come back over to hashrate.no, we can click on the calculator here and we can actually type in the figures that we have here. So the hash rate for Radiant right now is 12 giga hash with a power at the wall of 1050 watts. So we have 12 giga hash, which is 12,000 mega hash, I believe, and then 1050 at the wall. Now when looking at investment, I don't actually know how much these cost. I believe some YouTubers have got a hold of them. I'm just going to click calculate and see what we're making per day on one of these. So the revenue is okay, I believe. As we're seeing here, total power cost is $2.52 and the revenue is $3.68, which gives us a profit of $1.16. Now to give you some comparison, if we click on the 1490 here and we go down to Radiant, we can see we're only making a profit of 40 cents per day. So this multi miner is making around, you know, 220% more than what a 4090 would do. So it's pretty efficient in the grand scheme of things. Obviously FPGAs are gonna be way more efficient than just GPUs. However, we're seeing more coins come onto FPGAs. So we're probably gonna get updates for all of these different coins, maybe Kyla coin. I believe that you could use FPGAs on the Ergo network. I think there was some update around that, but I don't know if it went through or not. So you can make around $1.16 per day in profit. So that's for Radiant Coin. Now let's look at Ironfish. So we're looking at 180 giga hash. Where is Ironfish here? Let's delete this Radiant one. 180 giga hash, which is 180,000, I believe. And then the watts at the wall is 1,050 again. So 1,050. Sorry, let's delete that. And then we click Calculate. And we're looking at slightly more profit from Ironfish. I know Ironfish sometimes is fluctuating up and down. It's going to be the same with Radiant Coin. I believe Radiant Coin is down 40% from around 30 days ago. So you're going to see more profits on Radiant if it starts to pick up. 
but I also believe that Ironfish has dropped significantly since its inception onto coin market cap. It was at $8 and now it's at around $2 per coin, I think. So the power cost is $2.52 and then the profit is $1.64. So slightly more than Radiant Coin for this multi miner. Now I will just type in the Casper figures just so you can get an idea of what this multi miner can do on Casper real quick. So 7.5 giga hash on Casper. Sorry, it's 850 at the wall, so maybe it's slightly more profits. If we just click calculate, what is Casper looking at? Okay, so 26 cents profit at 850 watts at the wall. So FPGAs are coming online for Ironfish, Radium, and Casper. Now there is the Casper E300. Now I know a lot of people bought this just to mine Casper, and it was very profitable if you had it very early on. I know a lot of YouTubers got a hold of it, so they were profitable for a little bit before ASIC started to mine on the network. And there was obviously that theory that Bitmain already started mining on the network with some of their ASICs. However, if you scroll down, you can see that there is support future coming for other mining algorithms, Ergo and RXT, which is Radiant. I believe that has been known for a while. And they also have other mining machines. They have an E100, I believe, which is by here, which is basically one board. So the E300 has three boards and this has one board. If you can't afford the other one, I know the other one's cheaper if you divide it by three boards. However, this one is, you know, if you want to go for only one board, you can actually take the board out of the unit, I believe, if you want to just put it on a GPU mining rig. Now, one of these cards, this VPU35P, I believe goes for something like $1,500. So you're really paying for the unit itself and the setup already done for you. As it said, it will also support other mining algorithms, which is Ergo and then Radiant. So possibly you could also mine Ironfish on this if you get the right bit streams, because this multi miner will do Ironfish and Radiant. I don't know what the actual FPGA boards are in this multi miner. It doesn't say in any of the product details. If you just click product details here, it just says Casper, Iron, Radiant, and then Digibyte. It doesn't say anything about what FPGA boards are used in it. However, Osprey do tell you, so you can figure out which bit streams you need for those boards. Now, I also want to give a shout out to Coastal Crypto. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but I just want to show you places where you can actually buy FPGA boards. So we had Osprey and then we had um, 1024 Miner. So this is for the multi miner, but you can actually pick up FPGAs from Coastal Crypto as well. They have Forest Kittens going, so FK33, which is modified version of the VU33P. I don't know if they're going to be coming out with updates on other coins because they currently only mine on Casper. And then if you click on shops and FPGAs, you just get the multi miner that they had here and then the super scaler, which they was kind of the original Casper ASIC before ASICs were available. And then the multi miner, which is the same multi miner that we're looking at here. I actually forgot about this, but we should probably compare this Ironfish power cost to a 4090. So we're looking at $1.64 in profit for Ironfish on the FPGA and for GPUs on the 4090, we're looking at 55 cents profit for Ironfish on a 4090. Now remember 4090s are pretty efficient. They are not as efficient as FPGAs, as I already said. However, they're the closest thing that we have to FPGAs. So as we're on the topic of FPGAs, I just wanted to mention that we've already got them for Ironfish and Radiant, obviously. And Nexter is one of those profitable coins that we are seeing. I don't know about Dynex. I know that's a profitable coin, obviously, but I don't know if we can actually use FPGAs on that network. I know they tested the network on FPGA, so there must be some bitstream out there. However, for Nexa, they actually have it in their plans. It's just up to somebody to make the bitstream. So it says here, power scaling Nexa uses an extremely unique power algorithm that incentivizes the market cap to produce commodity hardware that accelerates node processing power, just like it has produced commodity mining hardware like FPGAs and ASICs. So they are looking to see FPGAs and ASICs on the Nexa network and they are also looking to have more node processing power on the network. So you'd have normal nodes and then you'd have like comparably people that would make FPGA nodes. I'm not saying that there's going to be FPGA nodes. I know that's not a thing. It's just the hardware upgrade, what it would look like in comparable to GPU mining to upgrade into FPGAs. I don't know if I explained that very well, but just know that there's probably going to be some FPGAs coming onto the Nexa network 
if people decide to make bit streams for it. And then lastly, I want to look at the FPGAs that are listed on hash rate NO. As you can see here, there's only four and they only mine Casper coin. I believe that that's what they're displaying on hash rate NO. That's the information that they have. But there could be bit streams coming out for these different FPGAs. Now, the only reason that FPGAs haven't really caught on, I believe, is because they're so hard to set up. If somebody could streamline that process and, you know, already have bit streams installed, I know that's what the E300 and the multi miner can do. However, most people don't want to mess around with it. And the fact that they can't switch it from any algorithm, like you couldn't switch from Dynex to Nexa to Radiant to Ironfish whenever it's profitable, kind of makes it annoying for FPGA miners. So you'd want an FPGA miner that can do a lot of different algorithms. And I think that's the future that we're heading towards in terms of GPU slash FPGA mining. We're going to be looking at a future where FPGA mining kind of takes over a little bit because it's way more profitable, way more efficient. That's just the natural order of progression. As you can see, this forest kitten is on here for Casper coin. And I'm sure that bitstreams would come out for all of these for different coins later on in the future because people aren't going to be profitable on Casper anymore. So they're going to be looking for people to create bitstreams for these to be profitable on other coins. So hopefully you guys learned from this video and you're looking into FPGA mining. I think it's a really niche space. However, it's growing quite quickly because of Casper coin and because of it being available for Ironfish and Radiant coin. So I think we could see more of an adoption in the future. As I said, if you guys want to buy one, you can buy one from what 0124 Miner or Osprey Electronics. These are all verifiable and they've been used before. Or you can buy from Coastal Crypto. I haven't got any affiliate links. Those are just ones that I've verified and I know you can buy from. So make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be uploading videos every day. So, so check out the new video every single day.